All right, so I want to get right into a topic, and this is a tough one. All right, no work, no eat. No work, no eat. Second Thessalonians 3 verse 10 says this. To me, for even when we were with you, we commanded you this. If anyone will not work, neither shall he eat. Now, why is it that we've got this thing as Christians, so many of us, that work is bad? You know, there's actually some people who think work is bad. Now, God created work. He's, God said that we need to be uh, led by the Spirit and we shouldn't be toiling. Toiling is where you're sweating and, and, and really working very hard and not getting anywhere. Or you can be led by the Spirit of God and everything just flows and things are happening. Now, my question to you is very simple. Why do you think God created us to work? So that we could create. We are designed to produce things. We are designed to bring things into this world. So work is never bad. And there are some Christians who are waiting for God to bring a breakthrough in their lives. And so they just sit and wait for God to do it. And let me tell you something. I've even fallen in that trap in my earlier years. Where we were waiting for God to come through for us. And we basically sat and waited. That is ungodly. It's not biblical. The Bible says that you use your gift. That he has given you. Even if you get to the place where you are not remunerated for it. So in my case I have a teaching gift. So what did I do? After I corrected and repented of this, because I was one of those that just believed that if we prayed and pushed through, uh, you know, that God would just come through supernaturally, and I never used my gift. Now, when I changed that and shifted it to this, even if I didn't get paid for it, I was going to continually use my gift. Then all of a sudden, supernaturally, God came through. And I never got paid for my gift. It had absolutely nothing to do with the gift. But I was doing the biblical principles. And so, if you are in a situation where you don't have a job, all right, you're not being paid for something, do stuff for free. Do stuff for free. Because if you don't do that, you're never going to activate the principles in your life. And so God is going to bring you to the place where you are going to realize that God created work. God's created us to produce. God has created us to produce life and destiny and purpose for people. And be a blessing on this planet. And every one of us have got different giftings. So you got to do what God called you to do. And that is why it's not difficult for me to produce teaching material or books. It's not difficult because that's my gift. For you, it will not be difficult to fix a car. That's your gift. Or to make cookies. Or to build a house. Whatever your gift is, if you don't have finance coming in for your gift right now, step out and practice your gift anyway for free. And God will make a room for you. Because God says that a worker, a laborer is worthy of his, wo his work. You have to work before God can honor that thing. And I want to vouch that when I started doing that, God started to bless us. And so this morning, when we come around the table, let us ask God to let us work with the gift that he gave us in Jesus' name. Amen. So on the night that Jesus betrayed, he took bread and broke it. He said, this is my body, 
that was broken for you, take it in remembrance of me. He took the cup, he said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take it in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our physical and emotional healing. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection and provision. So this morning when we come around the table, let us celebrate what Jesus Christ has done. Let's thank him for the price that has been paid for our lives in Jesus' name. Lord, I ask you please to forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, action, motive or intention. But Lord, I pray right now that as we take of the elements that you're going to help us, Lord, to use our gift. And Lord, whatever we are called to do, we will do it even if we don't get any money for it. Because we will see the power and the glory of God be made manifest in our lives. Lord, I thank you for your blessing. I thank you for the anointing of God. I thank you for the power of God that flows in our lives abundantly. Lord, I thank you that you are going to meet the need of each and every one in Jesus' name. And Lord, that every one of us will have a job where we are being paid in the name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together. <coughs> Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, we release the dunamis power of God over our physical bodies. Lord, I command every symptom of sickness to leave us in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord. That our bodies are healed. Our bodies are whole. And Lord that we operate in the fullness of what you created us for. Lord I command every symptom to go in Jesus name. And everybody said Amen and Amen. Well folks it's Sunday morning. I'm so excited that I'm here. Alright I want to remind you. Communion book. Book of Revelation. Alright. They are both out. And as I said to you, we are we are selling them for 400 Rand just to cover costs. We're running at a loss, but I will carry the loss. It's fine. All right. But the reason is this is I want the word in your hands. I want you to get the word. All right. So please go and order them at DrArthurFrost.com. And uh, they are ready to be distributed. And we are ready for it. As soon as you order, it will be on the way within days. Right, I want to remind you at the fire conference, I'm going to bring some books with, excuse me, not too many, okay, I've only got a few here with us, and uh, I will bring what I have, and then the rest, you can just order online. All right, now, I want to remind you that teacher Lizelle is on uh, English Afrikaans with the Children's Church at Father's Heart Kids, uh, Jean is on it at uh, 10 o'clock, and then 6 o'clock tonight is our English service. Okay, so I've got somebody standing in for me tonight, so please come and join us. I've got a special guest speaker tonight, so please come and join us at 6 o'clock as we do the English service. Okay, so it's very important that we get into the Word. Right, let's pray. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we pray over our families. Father, I pray your blessing and anointing over our families. Thank you, Lord, that every one of our families are blessed. Thank you, Lord, that we can pray the right spouses into our families. And Lord, that everyone is serving you. Everyone is obeying you. Father, I pray your blessing and protection over our families. I come against any form of sickness, any form of attack, any form of a devil assignment against our families. Father, I release the blessing and the power of God over our families this morning. And Lord, I thank you for the seal of your Holy Spirit upon them. In Jesus' mighty name, thank you, Lord, that our families are fulfilling what you call them to do. And Lord, right now, I pray for the peace of Jerusalem. I pray for Israel. I thank you, Lord, that that nation will do what you've called them to do. And Lord, that this war will come to an end quickly in Jesus' name. Father, I pray your blessing over this nation. And Father, we release the power of God and the leading of the Holy Spirit over everything that they do in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right, let's get to our declaration this morning. In Jesus' name. I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted,
Policies and rules changed. Battles won that I did not have to fight. All because of the blessing and the favor of God in my life. So saints, go out with might. Go out with valor. And allow the Spirit of God to use you in everything that you do. But above all, have a wonderful, restful Sunday. I love you lots. And please, I'm asking you, keep praying for our family. I love you. See you soon. Bye-bye.